As with all courses at HNC, students are required to fully engage with their course choices. This means maintaining the minimum attendance of 95% or above, completing and submitting homework, coursework and micro projects on time, and of course, being actively engaged within the classroom and online learning activities. In turn, you will achieve an A-level in computer science, gain an insight into the world of computing, develop skills, knowledge, both theoretical and technical in a multitude of topic areas, undertake a programming project developing work-based learning skills, and receive excellent guidance and support to help you to progress to higher apprenticeships or university. Our A-level computer science course follows the OCR H446 computer science specification. This has three units of study and is a linear A-level, meaning that the assessment takes place at the end of the two-year course. There are three units of study, computer systems, algorithms and programming, programming project. Unit one covers the characteristics of contemporary processors, input, output and storage devices, software and software development, exchanging data, data types, structures and algorithms, and the legal, moral, cultural and ethical issues surrounding computing. Unit 2 covers the elements of computational thinking and problem solving within programming and, of course, algorithms to solve problems. Unit 3 is a programming project and in this unit of study you work with clients or stakeholders, real or fictitious, to analyse a problem, design a solution to the problem, develop the solution and test and evaluate the solution. Most students take the advice that we give them to create a small game using C Sharp and Visual Studio, normally taking the form of a 2D game that is multi-level such as a maze, quiz or platform game. For the formal assessment that takes place at the end of year two, there are two formal examinations and one project which is sent off to be externally moderated. Each exam is worth 140 marks, lasts for two and a half hours, is a written paper, and has a, an equal weighting of 40% of the A-level grade. The programming project is worth a total of 70 marks, is non-examined, but it is a project that is marked by the A-level team and then sent off to be externally moderated by OCR. The weighting of the project is 20% and it's really important that you put in the maximum time and effort into the project as it is a grade that you can control and it's quite easy to get a high grade B or above. Throughout the course, you will be continually assessed both in the classroom and through your homework, and of course at the end of unit tests and through mock examinations. Through these mediums, we may monitor your knowledge and understanding of a topic area. We can help you to develop research skills and in turn preparing you for those all important examinations. In the IT department, we have access to a wide range of extracurricular activities one of which you will take part in during your first year. This will be in the Microsoft Word part of the Microsoft Office Specialist Programme Certifications, helping you to format and present professional Word documents ready for your A-level project. It is a globally recognised qualification and you can, if you wish, move on to other applications for certification. By achieving a certification in Word, Excel and PowerPoint or Outlook, you would become an Office Specialist Associate. Complete these and Word Excel access in expert mode to become a Microsoft Office Specialist expert. Here's a selection of our frequently asked questions. What programming languages will I study? The languages that we cover are Visual Basic, C Sharp and Pascal, covering the event driven, object oriented and procedural paradigms. As well as that, we cover web technologies with HTML, CSS and JavaScript and we use SQL for the data section. Do I need to study GCSE computing? No, it's not a requirement, but it can help you having a level of understanding coming onto the course. But this knowledge and understanding can be made up through additional homework. What software do I need to study and complete coursework? Most software that we use is free and open source or through our educational license. We use Visual Studio for the programming in Visual Basic and C Sharp. Lazarus we use uh, for Pascal. 
and brackets and notepad plus plus for the website development for the sql we use sql studio but this is only a package available inside college i don't know how to program can i still do computer science at a level yes absolutely so you've got plenty of time to develop programming skill and programming knowledge throughout the course we teach this as if there's no knowledge so we teach from fresh and we give you plenty of homework to do on programming through tutorials and tutorial websites and obviously in class practice.